For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, April 23rd, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont reported 78 new COVID-19 cases on Thursday, with four new positive tests reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire reported one death, 515 new cases of the virus, including 16 in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts reported 17 deaths, 1,431 new cases of the virus on Thursday, with seven new positive tests reported in Franklin County. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch is co-sponsoring legislation that requires the Food and Drug Administration to take enforcement action against manufacturers labeling non-dairy products as dairy. The Dairy Pride Act would stop the use of dairy terms such as milk, yogurt, and cheese on the labels of non-dairy products made from nuts, seeds, plants, and algae. The legislation does not prevent the sale of non-dairy products, only their mislabeling has dairy products. An August completion date is being targeted for the new Interstate 91 bridges at Exit 6 excuse me, in Rockingham. The Vermont Agency of Transportation says work is focused on building bridge barriers and removing, removing sections of the work trestle. There are reduced speeds and a single lane of traffic at the work site. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy is co-sponsoring a renewal of the Federal Farm to School Program. The Farm to School Program, administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, supports initiatives that deliver fresh, local foods to schools nationwide. The program was first authored by Leahy in the 2010 Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act. Grants from the program help schools across the country implement farm to school activities. Here's a sign of area groups planning for the post-COVID-19 world. The Retreat Farms Thursday Evening Food Truck Roundup is returning starting July 1st and each Thursday evening from 5 till 8 p.m. until September 2nd. The application window for new and returning vendors is now open and will close on April 30th. Vendors will be notified of selection by May 14th. WTSA Sports, the C, or rather the Mariners, I was going to call them the Seattle Seahawks. That would be appropriate if they're playing football at Fenway. It's the Mariners beating the Red Sox last night 7-3. to The Mariners scored four runs in the 10th. Boston and Seattle play again tonight, first pitch at 7-10. Yankees beat Cleveland last night 6-3 to in the opening game of their four-game series. Those two teams play again this evening, first pitch at 7-10. Kemba Walker scored a season-high 32 points to lead the Celtics past Phoenix, 99-86. Boston plays at Brooklyn tonight, tip-off at 7-30. And David Pasternak scored a goal and had two assists, leading the Bruins past Buffalo 5-1. Those two teams play again tonight with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, April 23rd, my name is Ian Kelly. Have a safe and tremendous weekend, everybody.